running your own lightning node might seem advanced it might seem very challenging but it's actually fairly easy to do now and it's a really awesome thing to be able to do you're not trusting a custodial with your lightning funds you can operate and manage your own channel receive and send lightning payments and close them down and have on-chain bitcoin again when you want to and this is part three of my mini pc to sovereign computer and bitcoin node lightning node uh, series so the first episode was about flashing OS onto a mini PC. Second series was about running Bitcoin, a Bitcoin node implementation and connecting that to your hardware wallet. And we got this third one, how to run a lightning channel. Now there's a lot to know here. And if you're not interested in doing the DIY route that I've shown here, you can actually buy a uh, server directly from start nine. They have the uh, server one and server pure, which are really great machines. They're very future proof with the hardware that's on there and they offer free support so you can get all of your needs met from a professional at Start9 Labs. And you can use my code BNC to get 5% off of one of these devices. There's a link for that in the description. One last thing before we get started, I am a Bitcoin educator and I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for best practices with Bitcoin, security needs, and any kind of basic questions you might have. You can book me for a one-on-one -on -one consult and coaching session through the link in the description as well. Now let's get into how to set up a lightning channel and how to balance it, how to loop out, how to have inbound, outbound liquidity, and what this all means. Let's get into it. For this tutorial, we're going to start by downloading LND, Thunderhub, and Lightning Terminal. These can be found in the Start9 Marketplace or the Community Directory. Once these are synced up and the dependencies have been resolved, which most of them are just Bitcoin Knots or Bitcoin Core, we will launch Thunderhub. Your password for your Thunderhub account will be in config on startOS under Thunderhub. First thing we need to do is fund our on-chain wallet on Thunderhub. So under Bitcoin on Thunderhub main page, go to receive and it'll generate a QR code and a Bitcoin on-chain address. For most channels, you'll need more than a million Satoshis to open up a lightning channel. So I would recommend sending around a million and 40,000 sats. Now we need to find a lightning channel that you want to open up your channel with and connect to. We can go to a website called 1ML and there's a bunch of different options on there depending on how connected you want to be. For this tutorial, I connected to async, which is the most connected node. So on 1ML, click the lightning channel you want to connect to and copy this address here. Now on the main dashboard of Thunderhub, we click open and we are going to connect to a new peer. We will paste that into the new node section. Then we'll either do max size of channel or 1 million sats or 1 million sats plus. Then we can select our fee or we can just do auto and then we press open channel. This will send a transaction onto the mempool and it will take quite a while depending on if you have Tor selected or not, which it, with Start9, it's automatically selected. For me, it took around six confirmations. So when this channel is opened, we have all of the sats in our outgoing side of our channel, which means we need to balance that if we also want to be able to have incoming transactions as well. So right now we can only send Bitcoin. We can't really receive Bitcoin on the Lightning channel because our channel is out of balance for inbound and outbound liquidity. So what we do is we will set up a loop. And basically, I believe what this does is it sends out Bitcoin and receives it back to the same channel. And there's a facilitator that does that for you and some fees associated with it, but it helps you balance those channels. So to do this, let's go to Lightning Terminal. And again, the password for that is in your config. Then we go to loop on the left and press loop out and select the amount that you want to do. You typically want to do a, a larger amount because this is going to have some fees associated with it. So you don't want to do this multiple times. You want to do this as less as you can so that owning a lightning channel and operating it doesn't end up being expensive for you. The fees for me are only 0.31% or 900 sats for a 300,000 sat uh, loop. So now my channel is a little bit more balanced. I have inbound and outbound liquidity. It's a smaller channel, but for personal use, this could work. I could receive sats, I could send sats, and have it completely custodial. Here's an example of me actually sending myself some sats. I go into my other Lightning wallet, create an invoice, and copy that invoice uh, 
Then I go to send in Thunderhub, press no to it is a key send, paste in the invoice, put in my max fee and my max paths. This actually only cost me one sat, but I had my max fee as 10. And then select the channel. If you have multiple uh, lightning channels, you could select whichever one you want and press send. And there it is. I sent non-custodial lightning on my own lightning node to a custodial lightning wallet that I have ownership of. Now, if you ever wanted to close a channel, you can do so by going to the channel section on Thunderhub, click the X next to actions, and force close this channel, and it will send you the Bitcoin to the on-chain address within your node, which is accessible through this Thunderhub account, and you can withdraw that to your cold storage. So a safety mechanism for the parties involved with the Lightning Channel, make it so that there ends up being a bit of time delay before you receive your Bitcoin back. The other thing you can do is in LND on your start nine, you can go to config and you can change the alias or name, and this will make it um, more identifiable and discoverable for your own sake. And we can actually go to mempool and check that out. We can type in sats arcade for this um, lightning channel that I set up. We can see a bunch of different details about it. This will take a little while to propagate the information. And you can actually see the open channel that I have here now with Bitcoin well, and you can see all of Bitcoin Wells public information and they're operating on ClearNet. So there's additional information beyond that. And they're connected. They have 26 channels open. And one of them is with me with Sats Arcade. The other thing we can do in LND is if you go to properties, the bottom one, the LND cipher seed is actually your 24 words. And this is something you could write down for recovery if you ever needed to, if you lost ability to get to your start nine or something like that, you could recover the funds that are on your lightning node still with these recovery words. And you can also back this up. This is an important thing to do on um, your start nine anyways, which is go to system, go to create backup, plug a flash drive into the, your mini PC or your start nine server and back up all of your information. You probably want, I would say at least a eight gigabyte flash drive to do this on. And you can also do a network backup, which I haven't done yet, but I will make a future video on all of the details about backing up your information properly. So that's really about it. It's really not that hard. Once you figure it out, there's a few little things like making sure that you set up a channel with more than a million Satoshis, connecting to an active channel so that you don't get stranded, changing that inbound and outbound liquidity. And now you have a fully functioning non-custodial lightning channel running on your own server connected to your own node, and you are a lot more sovereign because of it. Again, this is part three, so I do plan to make more series of this mini PC start OS uh, sovereign computer series. And again, if you want to book me for a one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so in the link in the description. A few other sponsors and affiliates that support this show, Bitcoin Well, non-custodial Bitcoin exchange. If you send them dollars, they send you Bitcoin directly. It's my favorite way to buy Bitcoin. And you can get free Bitcoin on sign up using my link in the description. If you need a hardware wallet, I would recommend the Jade or Jade Plus. There's an affiliate link in the description as well for that. And if you want to get 15% off of Stamp Seeds Titanium Seed Plate Kit, which is a great way to preserve your seed phrase for future generations and for yourself you can do so with my code btc not crypto 15 and again using my code bnc gets you five percent off of a server one or server pure from start nine labs we'll see you in the next episode on this series thanks everyone